Alright, alright, I'm back. And this did a greater rift, but I didn't have time. I got interrupted before I had a chance to take care of any of my items or anything. But I think I am gonna make Surely there is someone out there who would benefit from our aid right now. One change to my build. And that change has become, is because of uh, something that someone else is using, and, and after having looked at it, it's hard to believe, but I, I guess I never noticed it because I misread it. I misread what the item does, and I almost can't help but wonder how many other little things out there I've misread. I got these. I never really liked this too much, but apparently it does, or at least I think it's going to work in conjunction with the stone gauntlets, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to them. the stone gauntlets are going to be worth it. It might be. Blackthorns. I, I hate to give up those firewalkers. Those, those do such a good job with helping me to keep keep my bonus keep my bonus going. But Um... Those stone gauntlets. Now I would have to reforge them until I got an ancient version, but looks like they're basically double my armor. Um, I tested them out the other night. Uh, I mean, it looks. I think it's it's helpful. I don't know exactly how much it's going to help and whether or not it's going to be worth it, especially if I get to give up my firewalkers so I wouldn't be gaining my my bonus anymore, probably. I'd probably lose that pandemonium bonus all the time after that, but we'll see. Um, the change that I want to make is with an item that I actually very first put in my cube. I actually made it right in the beginning of the game. It's this one here, it's because it's the first one I got. And I misread this. I I thought this said Death Nova deals 400% increased damage. But it's not. It's 400% increased damage for every enemy within 25 yards. That works very similar to the way my Grim Sith works. And, and uh, especially uh, the, with the Leaguer's Disdain. And, I mean, they could really work, possibly work very well with each other. But I would, I would need to give this up. So this, half of my essence is a bonus to damage. So with this, I get 155% extra damage. So I would be losing that to my Grim Sith and my Land of the Dead Corpse Lance. But I would be gaining a lot of damage if I went with Death Nova. And this Skeletal Mage is, I want to say relatively, it, it doesn't do all that much damage by itself. So if I went here and I chose this, now I would also probably give up this. I wouldn't need this anymore because now... A bonus to essence doesn't do anything. And I've got a few items that give me a bonus to essence too. Wouldn't necessarily need any of those. Guess that doesn't matter. Or nothing really I can do about it. 
Nova. Now this would get changed to Death Nova. Now it's only 20 essence. So... You know, the main point of this is to drain out my essence so that this kicks in. So instead of casting this once and all of this goes down and then go back to Grimsith, I'd have to cast this a few times. As a matter of fact, I'd probably go back and forth between these two. Um... Now this is within Okay, this is everyone next to me. This is everyone within 15 yards. So this is with everyone within 25 yards. This would reduce the damage. I don't want to. This is going to be 350% weapon damage. This would increase the radius. I don't think I'm worried so, so much about the radius at this I point. I cannot follow you if we just stand around. That's going to heal me, but it's going to reduce the damage of it. This will slow them and reduce their damage by 60%, but just for one second. Looks like this is going to... Increase the damage, but decrease the radius to 12 yards. And this will keep the 25 yards, but increase the damage. But now I got to spend 10 health, 10% 10 health. I have to be, I'd have to be careful about that. We'll try this one for now. I don't know, I don't know exactly how well it's it's gonna work, but and then this one I could go with this. I could go back to this. No, I can't go back to this. Well, I could. Because another thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, probably going to want to get, go back to this, S of Johan. Because I want to bring those enemies in to me. This is going to, once again, reduce, this is going to reduce a lot, the damage from Grim Sith and Land of the Dead, because they're both cold spells. So I'm going to lose that 19% cold damage. So I got to really hope that that Death Nova is going to be worth it. The only other way I could do it is to get rid of my Crispin Sentence, but that just deals so much damage. 
I don't think I want to get rid of that. Bonus 100% weapon damage. I don't, I don't want to get rid of that. I could get rid of my Lornel Sunstone, but that's what allows me to do a lot of extra damage with this when I'm below 21% life. So I, I think it's got to be this. So I'm going to do a lot less damage with against the Rift Guardian. But once again, I, I'm just going to yeah. Just gonna be hoping that this makes it worth it. Might not even need this. <laughs> Pull the enemies in towards me. Usually I want my enemies to come to me anyways. Usually they do. I mean the other way to do it is with a, a golem spell, but... Could do that. No, I. Well, I mean, I can, but no, I don't. I don't think I can. It's gonna say I could use. Golem skin breaches. And trade my bone armor in. I can't because that stuns them. So I'd lose a lot there. When virtue tarries, evil smiles. Well, the other problem I've always had with the golem at this level that golem dies so fast unless if you're using this here where it takes 90% less damage but I don't want to give up a legendary gem just for that This would stun them also. Forty five second cooldown. Weapon damage is probably negligible. I think I'm just going to keep it this way for now. I, I, I might try the golem, but I think for now I'm just going to try this S of Johan. I'm just, the main thing I'm concerned about is being able to kill the Rift Guardian at the end. And that's kind of what I'm wondering about the other 
the other build that utilizes this, does it do enough damage to kill that Rift Guardian at the end? Passive skill. I need another passive skill. Um, you know, this would give me an extra 15% attack speed with my Grim Sith. But I'd rather have something that can help me with everything. You know, I could go with something like this. That would slow them, but really don't need a slow thing. Alright, since I'm taking away okay, this one here, this one that one might be good. I'm, I'm thinking this one right here. That's the one I'm thinking. I mean, this one, this one can be nice, but I know it's going to be useless against the Rift Guardian unless the Rift Guardian summons up creatures. So I'm thinking this one here, and that'll help me against the Rift Guardian at the end. It'll help give me more essence to use with the Death, Death Nova. Standalone will work a little bit better because I won't have those mages out. I looked and I I was wondering if I could do something better than Frostburn, but... thing. Yeah. Well, cold skills go 20% more damage. I don't think I have anything to match that. 50% chance to freeze enemies. So 50% of the time this is going to kick into extra 300% damage. Unfortunately, there's no cold Nova. The other thing I'm hoping too, this says attacks release, release a poison Nova. Hoping that will work with this. I, I don't know. I don't really know. Probably not, huh? Be nice if it did. The illusory boots might be the only other thing I might want. I don't really don't. I, I didn't see anything else that seemed like it would be good. You know, maybe this, but I would have to stay. It's possible. It's possible I could use this at some point. If I could manage to keep this above, yeah. Nah, I don't think I don't think I could do that. <laughs> 
The darkness grows while we stand about. A Leoric crown, maybe. If I find that I need more defense, I could I put Leoric's crown. That'd give me an extra twenty-three percent life. Something to keep in mind, I guess. All right, all right. So let's uh, let's give this a try. I don't. So I'm doing a lot less damage with Grim Sith, especially with Land of the Dead Corpse Lance, because I don't I won't have those stacks anymore. And because I don't have those stacks, now I can use my Corpse Lance a little bit more as I go. And that was why I was thinking maybe that Health Globe thing would be a little bit better. Just wish I had something a little more, a little more universal, so to speak. I could do this for movement speed. I just don't think I should be messing around with Corpse Lance unless if. Less fun in Land of the Dead. It, it does okay damage, but it's just not that great. And it goes against the whole idea of the build, which is to focus on multiple enemies. Alright, so let's just go with this and see how, how it goes. I'm going to do my normal 100. I'm going to have to get used to this. I just got to cast this a lot more. But everything else is the same. Instead of just hitting this once like I was doing with Singularity Mage, I got to hit it probably three or four times. Let's give it a shot. Many Netherlands would have stood where you are now, but few succeeded in overcoming <laughs>
Well, I don't know. Might need those health globes after all. Something's missing. Something's missing. I'm returning to town. I think I have an idea what it might be, but I'd be making some major sacrifices if I if I tried it. other weapon that was being used was this one <sighs> other thing too is this this wasn't kicking in I kind of knew that but S of Johan isn't kicking in as much as what I would have liked. But now if I use this... There you go. Gonna need to cast this a lot more often. Other thing too, 
that I am also noting is that this here heals me, and it's probably my my main source of healing. So if I'm not attacking with my Grim Sith, then I'm not healing, and I'm not not regenerating any life. That's why I died so much there. So if I went, but if I went with this, I'd be giving up my 198% damage, both for my Grim Sith and Land of the Dead Corpse Lance. If I gave up this simplicity's strength, I'd be giving up my Grimsith altogether, basically. More or less have to be just completely forgetting about Grim Sith other than as you know generating essence. But the other thing too is I, I, I've got to be able to cast this more often. Last for 60 seconds. Each time I use the Death Nova, reduces it by four seconds. I'd be having to cast this really often. give it a try that maximum essence is not needed uh, I think I got I got a better one I cannot follow you if we just stand around I suppose it doesn't matter at the moment. What else am I going to put in there for... Instead of maximum essence? And I don't think that'll matter. And I could probably put this in. For the healing to take the place of that.
was thinking of going with the golem, but I was going to be giving this up. I can't. I can't give this up if I'm. I need that for this. Unless I gave up Land of the Dead, Corpse Lance. I don't know. I don't know. It's... Let's just go with this for now. This, this. All right, I gotta, I gotta switch out that socket and put in a new socket. That's not the one I want to use for the other build, right? Let's just make sure that's the one I want to use for the other build. That I got this. And could give up this for the golem.
And I could go with this with my Land of the Dead. So when I go into Land of the Dead, this will be completely free. The enemies won't be frozen anymore. Well... Just gotta remember to hit this quite often. I don't know, maybe I should just go with just this for now. This is now more or less useless. be using this one a lot, so I might as well go with that. I think I'll switch this one over to that flesh sustain. I don't know, that, that might be risky though, but... Should help me out a lot with um, my healing. Alright, cold skills now are not really doing all that much. Poison skills. Just for now. I can always switch that out after. As well, go all out. Poison skills. I don't know. 
I don't know how this just isn't looking all that great anymore. <laughs> this is just different. You know, now I don't now I really don't need that frost burn probably. This is almost worthless now. Pretty good damage though, I think I'll just keep it. so bad. Blinding will help this kick in more. Triple damage. I don't think I don't think the poison over thing was helping out too much. Reduce the control impairing effects by twenty five percent might be nice too. would want to test out this if I put in my illusory boots. Wore this. Uh, 
Let me just try that for a second. Unhindered through enemies. I don't think that helps with this. Zakarum has fallen to this spring. This is a dismal sight. be the ice climbers if I wanted that. La 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 la. Well, I don't know. I don't have any faith in this whatsoever. <laughs> I just don't think this is gonna work. I put Leoric's crown in there, but big dummy me, I didn't have a spare one. I don't have a spare one to put in there. Oh, I don't need one. I've already got it. Right, let's let's take out Frostburn and put in Leoric's crown. Give it a shot. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work, but I just gotta remember to cast this a lot more often. Hopefully that 20% health doesn't hurt me too much. Embrace your power and you will survive.
fear the end. That needs to recharge. I'm not gonna say it's bad or worse. I'm More creatures, or something. Opponents may be strong, but I will not 
Need more guys or something. More enemies. Oh. Come on. bonus I don't know I can't see how you're gonna kill the Rift Guardian like this. I almost don't even want to bother. <laughs> you, you can't do any damage when there's only one enemy around. Yeah. 
So unless you could combine it with some form of attack... that will do damage to one single enemy. How do you how do you do damage to one enemy? I am returning to death. And that's that's kind of what I was hoping I'd I'd still be able to at least do some good amount of damage with this, but you know, if there was a poison version of that, then maybe I could do it. Okay, I've been going for a while here. <laughs> I forgot I was going to start up a new recording. I forgot all about that. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going for an hour. <laughs> 